didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Who? Not used to this mic. Okay. Hello. Hi. I got a brand new mic. So this is new to me. Um, enjoy. Today, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. And today, I'm finally going to make it, even though I'm not feeling so hot. We're going to talk about why makeup causes and or exacerbates mental illness. Because it does. And if it doesn't exacerbate or cause mental illness, it definitely does harm to your psyche and likely tra traumatizes you to the point of being, I don't want to say less of a person. I want to say to realizing a lot less of your potential. Um, so that's what this video is about. And I hope that you enjoy. Okay. So, um, makeup is a mind trick. Um, it gives you this false sense of security while you're wearing it. And I'm so tired of women saying like, Oh, makeup builds my confidence. Okay. No, it fucking doesn't. It, it might build your confidence while you're wearing it, but once it comes off, are you continuing to be confident what the, the level of confidence you had whilst wearing makeup didn't think so um so it um you make your face look wrong like your face does not look like you no one has purple eyelashes i mean i eye, eyelids okay no one has purple eyelids no one has perpetually red lips or you know a contoured face some people may have high cheekbones, but nah, that doesn't mean you're contoured. Um, it makes you look like a different version of yourself. So it's really this, you know, mind trick you're playing on yourself. Um, a lot of women um, make AFP, adult face paints, um, a daily habit and compulsion. And this can obviously exacerbate potential OCD or, um, you know, compulsive habits, compulsive things that you need to do. Um, because if you're channeling that, manifesting it into AFP, um, I, it's not going to end there. <laughs> like if you're someone who is prone to having um, unhealthy obsessions, it's not going to be limited just to your adult face paints that you choose to spend woman dollars on. Anyway, um, makeup is an addiction, okay? Women are literally addicted to it. It's like a drug, and I wish I was kidding, but I'm serious. Um, it's like a drug, you know, feeling that high that you get from um, walking around, even though you're a real adult, wearing makeup on a daily basis. Um, you know, you, you might get attention from men, you might get attention at work or whatever the heck, right? Um, it's an addiction and it's a drug. And I've had so many women, hey, Danny, Danny's here. I've had so many women um, immediately threaten violence upon hearing the fact that I think makeup is wrong for women to wear. They're like, a bitch, I'll kill you. Okay, well, that's not what like a sound-minded person who has a healthy relationship to makeup would say. Okay, um, hey, Danny, you wanna be in the makeup video? What's good, kitty? Hi. Come on up. Come here. I'm trying to get her up. Danny, come here. Got her. Here's a kitty. Can you hear? Let's, Danny, can you purr? Purr into this mic. Yes, good purr. Danny, you're so much better than any amount of makeup anyone could ever buy. She know. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's unhealthy and it's a compulsion and it's gross and it causes pollution and you don't need to be wearing it. Anyway. Um, okay. So not only does makeup um, do those things that I just listed, it also distorts your sense of reality. Therefore... 
you know, you have it in your mind that um, you're liked because you're pretty. You have it in your mind that you're liked because you wear nice adult face paints. Um, and I hope that's not true. Honestly, I do. I hope that that is not the reason that you're liked. Um, if that is the reason that you're liked, I feel sorry for you. But anyway, um, that, that creates this weird dynamic in your mind, right? Because you think that you're being praised for your looks or whatever, or you think that you're being praised for your like skill in wearing makeup. When in reality, you know, I've seen people do really actually cool, visually stunning, amazing art, actual art, okay, on on their face. Okay, I saw, there's this one woman, um, she like painted her face. So like if she were sitting right here, she could sit right here and she could paint on her face to make it look like she was like in pieces. That's fucking cool, right? That's actual art. Um, you know, uh, putting on makeup to go work at a food service place is entirely unsanitary. Um, putting on makeup to basically do anything except for jobs that actually require makeup, you know, so if you're like a model or a news anchor or an actor is just insanity to me and it's completely unprofessional and you look like a clown. You look like a clown. You are a clown. <laughs> you're a clown person wearing makeup thinking that it looks good when you look like a damn fool. But anyway, um, so because it distorts your sense of reality, um, one, by putting it on, right? Just by having that makeup on your face, your sense of reality is immediately distorted. In addition to that, you cannot make accurate facial expressions while you have makeup on. You cannot you know, scratch your face or, or do anything natural. So you become, you know, this person is like, <sighs> but literally you, you, maybe something happens to you and you're upset. You want to cry or you want to yell at someone, right? You immediately suppress those emotions by saying, I can't do that. I can't say that I'm going to mess up my makeup. And, and that happens to women who wear makeup so many times that they, you know, lose their ability to be angry. They lose their ability to um, express their true emotions immediately as they come. So even if they're not wearing makeup, that practice will continue when they have a real proper natural face. Um, that's fucked up. I feel sorry for you when that happens to you. And that's why you ought to stop wearing makeup is because um, when you actually suppress emotions to that degree and like, <sighs> okay, when you actually suppress emotions to that degree, right? Like I said before, it's not going to be stuck inside the action of you making improper face expressions, okay? It's going to be reflected in your voice. It's going to be reflected in your ambition. It's going to be reflected in your actions as a woman, as a person. Okay? So that's fucked up. And um, I bet all y'all, okay, um, can name a baby boomer woman who has worn makeup all her life and um, has a fake voice. Okay, this is my natural speaking voice. I actually really do speak this way. And I know how I talk because I'm not fucking stupid enough to coat my face with a layer of poisonous goop every day. Okay, I can speak comfortably. I know how to speak comfortably. I'm comfortable expressing my opinion. Okay, <sighs> women who wear makeup really truly have been wearing it for years and years and years cannot do that. And you, you develop a fake fucking voice. Michelle Duggar is a really great example of that. Let me talk like Michelle Duggar for a second. So I'm drinking this tea and it's this really nice chamomile tea that I just got at the grocery store nearby. Um, I, I don't, I'm not really a big tea drinker, but I, I do drink it occasionally, you know, especially in the winters. That's a fake ass voice. Do you understand me? Okay, 
when you are so fucking fake, you faked yourself into believing that you're this imaginary person that you're not, and you don't even fucking know who you are. Good luck figuring it out at 50, at 40, at 60. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Um, causes denial of reality. It normalizes lying to yourself and teaches you to ignore your real feelings. If you're so well trained not to process your own emotions, you don't know how to express yourself. You cannot adequately be yourself, express yourself. That's, you know, pretty high priority in being yourself is expressing yourself. I mean, you cannot do that. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. You're you're in trouble though. I can tell you that much. Okay, so we have suppressed emotions. When you suppress emotions for that long, what happens? For years and years and years and years. You've trained yourself to not be upset. You've told yourself you're not upset when you really are. You've told yourself you don't care about something when you really do. What happens? You start believing your own lies. So if you have suppressed emotions, that leads to denial. Um, that leads to decreased intellect. Let's be real here. Um, and that also leads to pent up emotions. In addition to that, I'm pretty sure the number one killer of women is heart disease. Sorry, that's in the United States. I wonder why that is when you hold back your feelings, when you hold things inside of you, it piles up and it causes stress. Okay, so I'm not fucking surprised a lot of women are dealing with heart disease. Okay, um, oh, if you've successfully taught yourself to be such a robot, then a robot you shall remain. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is some bullshit, like, Stepford Wife's, Stepford Wife's shit. Okay that women have bought into because they they think it's cool, they think it's feminine, they think it's... I don't fucking know, dude, but this, this bullshit... Oh, you see? Yes, yes. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. This bullshit... I was talking to my friend about it, and, like, all of that that I just listed... You know, all these things like makeup, eyebrow, whatever, hairstyles, blah, 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 conforming to mainstream commercially advertised shit that tells you what to do, how to wear, how to wear it, what to put on your face, that kind of bullshit, right, is actually extremely masculine because men are the ones telling you to do that. Men own probably every single makeup company out there, most of them, if not most of them, right? Let's be real here. Um, men are the ones who create it. Men are the ones who manufacture it. Men are the ones who advertise it. Men are the ones who get it into the stores. I could go on, okay? It is really actually masculine to wear makeup and that's probably why drag is such a thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's all I need to say. But I mean, let's be real here. Like, due to the fact that so many women wear... Okay, okay. This is what I was going to say. So... If we have these women, okay, who have worn makeup their whole lives and have all these suppressed emotions and all this denial and decreased intellect and the inability to therefore express their emotions properly, take away the makeup, what do you have? You have someone who is extremely vulnerable. You have someone who is extremely childish. You have someone who is extremely immature and you have someone who doesn't know how to function outside of her unhealthy compulsion of putting goop on her face. Okay. Is that good? Is that 
helpful for women as a class of people? It's not. Um, I think it's really sick that so many women participate in their own oppression by wearing AFP, adult face paints, or slave paint. Um, and I think it's even sicker that women... I knew, a, I knew of a gal who um, would go to, like, third world countries. She was some AFP promoter. She would go to third world countries and be like, you may not have running water, but look how fire your fucking face can look with this bullshit I'm going to sell you. I can't think of anything more colonizer and fucking disgusting than that. That is repulsive. That is disgusting behavior. You're really going to go up to a woman who needs money, who could maybe use a fucking road or like a toilet, and you're going to be like, don't worry, you can look pretty while needing a road or a toilet? That is just that's fucking outrageous. Um, uh, I think that's about it. This is one thing I'm going to say. I've been meaning to say it. I guess there haven't been other videos where I've said it, but I probably have anyway. I never want to hear this argument ever again. And if you say this shit, I, I find you annoying as fuck. And um, you don't sound smart when you're saying this shit. I have been told this for a long time. And I'm sick of it. Okay. A lot of people say to me, a lot of women say to me, like, well, Leah, you're so pretty. Leah, you are such a great weight. Leah, you don't have acne. You don't know. It doesn't apply to you. Okay, first of all, that fucking argument is bullshit because you're saying, you're out acknowledging the fact that women who may have acne, who might be overweight, who may not look beautiful, are treated poorly. And you're saying, <laughs> I, well, they're just going to carry on being treated poorly, so what can we do about it? What we can fucking do about that is have those women be themselves, be out there, be ugly, have acne, don't give a fuck, have armpit hair for crying out loud, woman up, um, and then that shit wouldn't be so weird. Then that shit wouldn't be so frowned upon, but a lot of women aren't strong enough to do that, and that is upsetting. But you can be that strong today, just throw the makeup away.